Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for our Cuentos and Doodles segment with Ellen Ochoa, who wrote our lovely We Are All Scientists book that came out in fall 22. Without further ado, I'm so happy to introduce Ellen Ochoa. Ellen Ochoa became the first Latina to go to space when she served on a nine day mission aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery in 1993. She has flown on four missions, spending a total of 41 days in space. She completed her 30 year career at NASA by serving as 11th director of NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, and is honored to have six schools named after her. Now living in Boise, Idaho with her husband and dog Felix, with their two grown sons nearby, she continues to be an ambassador for science and engineering education, especially engaging kids and adults from groups who are underrepresented in those fields. So thank you so much, Ellen, for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you here. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here and so excited. And, you know, today with Cuentos and Doodles, we're so excited to have you for a Q&A and also to read your book um, to all our little ones who are watching this video. Um, and to begin, because we're so excited to get you know, to get to know you a little bit better. How does it feel now that the first book of your series, We're All Scientists? is out in the world. <laughs> you know, it's quite new for me to do something like this, a children's book, and I'm really excited. And of course, what I'm really hoping is that families and schools and libraries will want to have it and to read it over and over to their kids. And what is the importance of STEAM in your life? You know, specifically as you've written this book and written the other books of the series, how do you hope to inspire our younger generations towards careers in STEM? Well, my whole life has been involved in STEM and STEAM, actually. Uh, my career first as a research engineer and then as an astronaut and a leader at NASA. And also all of my experiences at a flutist, which I started playing the flute when I was 10. And I got to have some pretty interesting experiences with that as well, including playing the flute in space and at the South Pole. So that's mm -hmm. how I've been involved in the arts. That's what I'm really hoping um, from this series is that kids will get the idea that there are many exciting careers and experiences in STEAM and also uh, that they don't have to choose to forgo one interest to pursue another. So lots of astronauts and scientists and engineers are somehow also engaged in the arts. And I mentioned STEM, you know, I think recently we've heard of STEM with science, technology, engineering, and math. And lately there's been the addition of the A, which is standing for arts. And you did mention your background as being a flutist and actually getting to play the flute on, uh, in space. So with that being said, you know, what does that additional A mean? You know, arts for us is something that we don't generally associate to science or anything in that um, industry. So what does that mean to have A finally join in into STEM and create STEAM? Well, I think it uh, brings together maybe different interests uh, that kids have. And also with without including it, um, maybe people felt like, well, if I'm interested in the arts, then I've got to choose, you know, between that and, and the other STEM fields. And so hopefully by including it, people realize that they don't have to, that, that they can go together. And um, in thinking about the arts, sometimes it does directly uh, use science or engineering when you think about maybe architecture or photography. Um, uh, you know, I think about astronauts uh, taking photographs of the Earth from space, which has both a scientific use, but also an artistic quality as well. And, and for me, just um, including music, which has always been important to my life, um, shows that often those two do go together. Beautiful. Thank you. And in terms of your STEAM series, you know, I think you said this is definitely a new route in your career that you're taking on. But when did that idea of wanting to write a children's book come to mind? Well, frankly, uh, I didn't think of it myself. I was approached by Little Libros, who published bilingual books for young kids and who wanted to add offerings in the STEAM or STEM area. And so as I thought about it, it seemed like a great way to expand my outreach 
Of course, over the years, I've spoken for hundreds of groups um, about my career, about STEM, uh, about NASA, and uh, these groups have been students and adults, of course. Um, and although there have been books written about me for young kids, I had never written a book myself. So this was an opportunity to convey what I think is exciting and important about STEAM fields, and especially, of course, to reach out to bilingual families and communities. And it's been such an exciting venture to have you in our Little Libros family. Honestly, it's been a pleasure. Um, so with that being said, how has that publishing experience been for you when you were creating this book? Yeah, you know, it's been really smooth for me. I got to concentrate on the part that was important and personal to me, the words and the concepts that I wanted con to convey. And then Little Libros took care of the rest, the part that they really know about, including getting an outstanding illustrator, Sitlali Reyes, who really brings the book to life. And it's it's truly been an amazing opportunity to see how you've created literally from an idea from concepts. And then we've taken it on to create this wonderful book that is meant to inspire, to you know, push curiosity and discovery. So it's been great. And you know, hopefully you've gotten some memories from that process. Can you name one favorite memory from the process um, of publishing with us? I would say my favorite memory so far is seeing the draft book with the illustrations for the first time. Of course, I knew the words because I had written them, um, but I really loved seeing how the illustrations visually communicated my words as well. And, and that uh, uh, you know just made a big difference. And I look forward to hearing from kids or families who actually read the book and, and hearing their feedback. And what would you say is the importance of publishing this book with Little Libros, which is a bilingual and also Latina owned and community owned publisher? Well, I think um, having this uh, partnership with Little Libros was really key to my doing the project. Um, Little Libros described the need for this type of book a bilingual board book with, with STEM and STEAM concepts. And really that's that's what was the hook to get me involved. And of course, the fact that Lil Libros already knew how to publish and market this kind of book is a big plus for me. Those are areas I don't know anything about. And I knew they would know how to uh, reach out and, and help get this book out to um, the communities that will really hopefully find it um, important and want to read more about these. Beautiful. And just talking about the interiors of the book a little <laughs> further, what would you say is your favorite spread in the book? You know, it, it's hard to pick a favorite, um, but I will say that I hope the last page is one that leaves a lasting impression uh, with the kids who hear it. And so that page goes, if you wonder why and love to explore, you are a scientist. Si te preguntas por qué y te gusta explorar, eres un científico. And that's accompanied by a great illustration of a diverse group of kids exploring nature and flying a rocket kite. And I really wanted kids to get the idea that they can be scientists, that they really already are because they're curious and they ask questions. And, th and that's a thought that I wanted to leave with them. Beautiful. And lastly, you know, this is the first book in your series, um, and your series is titled Dr. Ochoa's Stellar World. Um, within that series, this is the first book that's coming out, or has come out, I should say. We are all scientists. And following that, we have four other books that will fulfill the rest of the letters of STEAM. So technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. So what else can we expect from the rest of your series? Well, all of the books will describe concepts and then show kids doing actions that relate to STEAM. And yet I think will seem very familiar to them and their world. And so hopefully the idea is they can picture themselves in these fields and then start to learn a little bit about them through the books. 
Um, they'll all have at least one page that brings in a space theme because, of course, that's that's what I know about. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that that came across. Um, you know, and so, for example, um, in the technology book, I'll talk about using technology to learn, to communicate, and to connect. And that might also include connecting with a parent who's in space, something I have some familiarity <laughs> with. And, and for the engineering book to really kind of go through the process um, of a team working together to solve a challenge, which is what I think is really interesting and exciting about engineering. And that challenge just may have to do with space. So I hope people will look forward to those. Thank you so much, Ellen. It's been great talking to you. And you know, without further ado as well, we have our Cuento segment where Ellen will be reading her new children's book. We Are All Scientists is the name of this title. And Ellen, please go ahead and start when you're ready. Well, thank you. Science starts with curiosity about the world around us. La ciencia comienza con la curiosidad por el mundo que nos rodea. Scientists are investigators who collect evidence and solve mysteries. Los científicos son investigadores que recopilan pruebas y resuelvan misterios. Astronomers wonder about planets, stars, and galaxies. Los astrónomos reflexionan sobre los planetas, las estrellas, y las galaxias. Physicists discover the rules by which the universe works, including motion and gravity. Los físicos descubran las reglas que rigen cómo funciona el universo, incluyendo el movimiento y la gravedad. Chemists experiment with atoms and molecules that make up everything in the universe. Los químicos experimentan con los átomos y las moléculas que componen todo el universo. Biologists study living things from plants to animals. Los biólogos estudian los seres vivos desde las plantas hasta los animales. Ecologists observe how living things depend on each other to survive and grow. Los ecologistas observan cómo los seres vivos dependen unos de otros para sobrevivir y crecer. Meteorologists forecast the weather and understand storms. Los meteorólogos prognostican el tiempo y entiendan las tormentas. Geologists learn about rocks and minerals to determine how the earth was formed. Los geólogos aprenden sobre las rocas y minerales para determinar cómo se formó la tierra. If you wonder why and love to explore, you are a scientist. Si te preguntas por qué y te gusta explorar, eres un científico. Thank you, Ellen. That was beautiful. And once again, we hope that this message, like Ellen said, is a lasting impression for little ones to continue on the road to hopefully finding a career in STEAM and to never forget that they're all scientists. So Ellen, we can't thank you enough and we hope that there's many more to come with the many more books you have in store. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, we really urge you to buy your copy at littlelibros.com. Um, it's beautiful. It's our traditional board book format and little ones will find it so amusing and so educational as to what they can pursue for their future career. So thank you so much, Ellen, again, thank you. Thank you, just happy to be here. And again, excited that the book is finally out. Well, thank you, Ellen, take care. Bye.